Hi, I'm Somer Hackley, CEO at Distinguished Search. Welcome to Two Distinguished Minutes, where I have a distinguished guest and we ask one very important question. So today my guest is Abby Perkins. She is the CIO at Stonex. Well, Abby, it is so great to see you here today. Thanks for joining me. You as well. All right. Absolutely thrilled. Yes, no, me too. I, I really do want to know the answer to this. So I would love to ask you the one big question, which is why do you do what you do? Oh, I love being a manager. I really do. I mean, I am lucky enough to like truly be, you know, an executive here at StoneX, participate in all the strategic direction uh, type of ideas, look at M&As, you know, those are all sort of the fancy bullets on resumes. But like at my core, I really love managing and developing people and and I'm good at it. You know, you, you love things you're good at and vice versa, right? And you're good at things that you love. So uh, the development of people uh, at, at, at scale, like coming up with paradigms for them, to develop uh, everything from you know minute one-on-ones all the way up through entire you know certification programs and all this i love it it's it's it is my favorite thing to do and when i think look back on my career the i got a lot of little pieces of advice sort of along the way you know um, not always not always positive <laughs> but it it ended up forming the way that i think about how to engage with people and how to build teams and how to you know focus those teams on outcomes how to try and have a demanding but positive culture like you can actually have both like demanding doesn't always mean negative how do you have a demanding but generally positive culture and, you know, with that, I do my best to achieve it every day. And that's kind of the fun part for me. And, you know, um, when my, my kids, um, I took my daughter with me to London last week. Uh, so I had a business trip and I was lucky enough to bring her. And people said the nicest things to her about how I engaged with them. They're like, we're so grateful to have, you know, have Abby as a, as a leader. She really espouses a lot of positivity. She really pushes us to be better people. She pushes us to be better Stonex people. And my daughter, you know, is 18, like, oh, that's so nice of you to say you know <laughs> but you know the but they say it to her and and that is very uh satisfying for me is it something that you always loved that always came naturally to you i'm just curious since since you said it's you love it and you're good at it so i'm curious if yeah. that was always the case for sure no i actually still to this day remember a manager telling me that he wondered if i would ever be able to manage senior people you know, that I was, I was, he tried to put it nicely. I was better at, you know, uh, managing people who needed more instruction. Basically, Abby, you have micromanagement tendencies and like senior people will not really like that. It caused me to go back and sort of think like, okay, what am I, what am I doing wrong? What is, what is making me be, have these micromanagement tendencies and, and execute against them versus like sitting on my hands and shutting my mouth. With that reflection was able to kind of uh, unlock a whole new set of things that I could do. You know, that, that really got me to the point of which I could even interview to be a CFO. And it took a lot for me to sit down and sort of retool my the way that I do things. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for sharing this. I love uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I love hearing more about your management journey and story and just how um, how your team got to share all of that with your daughter last week. That's just awesome. Mm -hmm. So all right. Well thank you for joining us. Well it's me. a great platform. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Bye.